Today I want to do a cross comparison of two tools. We got Opus Clip versus Video AI. And what I did here was I put the same exact long form video into each individual tool. This is Video AI and this is Opus Clip right here. Here's the video right here. So what I want to do here is I just want to do a cross comparison of how it worked out, right? So as I told you, I put this exact YouTube video for my 3D printing YouTube channel in here just to see what would happen. And first of all, this is what Video AI came up with. And by the way, it was like a five minute video. And Video AI, first of all, made six clips, six vertical reels. Because you have to remember here, Video AI and Opus Clip, what they do is they take your long form videos on YouTube and they put them into vertical reels. So Video AI made six reels. Let's take a look at Opus Clip here. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 12, 13, 14. Okay, so Opus Clip made 14 reels, which is a that's a lot of reels to be making on a five minute video. So let's just take a look and watch these. Let's go over to Video AI and check it out. So we have the A1 Mini, we have just the A1, and then we have the P1S. Okay, so these look pretty good, honestly. 3D printing can be extremely overwhelming, especially when trying to... All right, so let's, those look good. Like I have no complaints, the captions look good, the videos. Sometimes on some of the videos, the orientation, you know, where the video is supposed to be, it has to be like moved over so it's shrinked into that vertical orientation. But we can do that in the editor, right? All right, and then Opus Clip here, let's take a look at some of these. And by the way, um, both these tools kind of like give you like a virality and hook score and they'll give you the transcript and also some of them will do like the AI description building and whatever. Let's have a watch here. 3D printing can be extremely overwhelming, especially when trying to- Okay, so one big difference is here, I can tell that Opus Clip does more of this like when it puts it inside of a, it like shrinks the video and it puts it inside the vertical reel. And then it lays it over like the background, which looks pretty good, I still like that. Let's take a look at another here. So our next printer on the list for Bamboo is the P1S, and we're actually 3D- Yeah, see like the orientation, like the camera, the, the view needs to be moved over right there. But what's cool here is we have the editor. So let's just go into the editor here. It says edit clip. And again, guys, if you're on the fence looking for more info on both of these tools, you can check out my link, my affiliate links in the description to get free trials. What's really cool is both of these tools allow you to free trials. The links will be in the description. Okay, so the Opus Clip editor here has literally everything. We can do transitions. We can even add a voiceover. We can go and delete the voiceover and then just add transitions. You can add media. I can edit each individual, essentially the transcript, which it was what it uses for the captions. Just click on there, you can edit it, edit words, you can highlight. So like in the section of the video where I need to move over the camera, like right here, what I tend to do here is I'll put a split in here. So I'll do a split there and then a split there. And then what I can do is highlight that and then I can, I can move over the camera itself. And what's really cool here is you can change the layout of each individual one. Click on layout here. And then you can do fit right there and you can increase it. There's a bunch of options here with the editor that we can do. So now see how that does that. And if I click play here, you can see the actual spot where it needs to be shown because a lot of times the biggest setback is what's being shown in that vertical format because it's really tough to take that widescreen and put it in that vertical format. All right, so the so the editor on Opus Clip is amazing. I'll just say that there's I can do everything. So let's go check out the editor within Video AI. So this clip here needs to be move over. Click on edit. What it does here is it kind of shows you the section of the entire video that it used. It looks like we can change things on the left here with like subtitles, um, add elements. You can add stock footage, media, hashtag text. I don't know why we'd add text though because we already have captions. But yeah, what we can do here is I can move over the entire video. And what you could probably do is just put splits in there and then just move over like move sections of it so it looks better. So the editor does, it does work decent here. Definitely not as in, in depth as Opus Clip. And both of these features or both of these tools kind of have what's called like the new schedulers. And if I click on this calendar feature in Opus Clip now, what you can do is you can actually attach and connect your social profiles and you can start scheduling each individual reel to be published on every single day. Well, I mean, you can publish whatever day you want, but a little secret sauce here, Publish a reel every single day consecutively, and you're gonna watch your social media growth go like this. Little behind the scenes tip, and also they also have the planner here and video AI, so you can also use that, it's very similar. So guys, both of these tools are extremely similar. I would say Opus Clip is taking the lead a tiny bit right now, just because the editor is a little bit better. Let's take a look at pricing, because I feel like pricing is a huge factor, right? 
So if you're looking to pay, uh, this is video AI, if you're looking to pay monthly, which a lot of people are, what you can pay is $49 a month to get the 600 minute a month which let's compare that to the opus 600 minutes paying monthly yeah if you're gonna you're only gonna get 300 processing minutes for $30 a month with opus clip so although opus clip has a starter plan which is less money whereas they don't because their starter plan has a watermark on it which I really don't like that and if you're looking to go with yearly here let's click on the yearly tab if you want to pay annual because it says you get 50% off if you pay for yearly for video AI, it's 25 bucks a month and you get 600 minutes. If you go with yearly here, you get 3,600 processing minutes per year, 1450 a month. So that's a huge savings, guys. I think Opus Clip takes the cake here because that's a crazy amount of savings. So my advice to you guys is to pay yearly for Opus Clip and consider using my affiliate link in the description. I have tons of videos on Opus Clip, how to use it. I have review videos on it, uh, helping one creator to the next. If you're gonna sign up, just consider it. Links are in the description. Honestly though, guys, I'm using both these tools. If you want my honest opinion, just because uh, I'll take one video and I'll, I'll use three of these different tools that do this and I'll get like 30 clips comprised and I'll upload all of them. And it, like, it just makes different videos. But then again, I have 10 YouTube channels and clients and yeah, I put out a lot of content, guys. But that's what these tools are for, right? Next leveling your short form content. So again, guys, hit me up in the comments. Let me know what you're thinking on using, what you're gonna sign up for. The links will be in the description. Opus Clip, I think is a little bit better of choice, but Video AI does work as well. And there's also another called Munch AI. You can check out videos on that one as well. All right, guys, I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.